And yes, we're, we're going in Super Game Boy Color format. I know there was like a DX patch, but I really didn't want to use it because if you're using the Super Game Boy mode, is it really that necessary? Do we really need that many more colors? I mean, it exists if you want to try it out, but it's not for me. So I know that Kirby's Adventure was probably the first game where Kirby actually had more abilities to use. But I got this game before I got Kirby's Adventure. Hey there, Dino. And when I did get Kirby's Adventure from a camping trip, or after a camping trip, the version I got was in French. So, I got to learn a little bit of French here and there, because of it. So, the Witcher is one of them now, Parasol. So, yeah, see those stars over there? If you get, like, I think it's seven of them or eight of them. I don't know if that just, like, fills out when you get the last one, or you have to get one extra. But that gives you an extra life if you get it. Nope, you just have to get seven. Uh, did I do that right? No, I, I did that horribly. I gotta time that a lot better. Oh, you know what? I don't need Parasol. I'd rather Fireball. Oh, that one hatched immediately. Scared the crap out of that chick. Oh yeah, it's, we got some mid-bosses here. Funny enough, uh, swallowing this mid-boss also gets you, Fireball. And now we got Rick the Hamster. Most difficult boss in Thousand Year Door? I would probably say the extra gr the Grotus fight, because you have to constantly take out the, uh, the ads. Or it's gonna be invincible. So you have to constantly use your, uh, multi-hit moves. Oh no, I didn't want to get rid of Parasol. I... I kind of want Parasol. So I'll need that later. Right, did I push that down enough? Oh, that was slightly better. Dirty Easter eggs? What kind of dirty Easter eggs, Neil? I don't think I've ever heard of Fact Hunt. Or if I did, it was probably a forgotten memory afterwards. Hey there, MB, good to see you. So the cool thing about the Animal Buddies is it actually changes Kirby's uh, special power. Like, sometimes it'll be advantageous to use a certain animal buddy, and other times, don't use an animal buddy. Depends on what you need it for. I guess we can go for all the rainbow drops, because there's only seven of them in the whole game. wondering why I'm not dashing, you cannot dash in this. Dirties and crude or adult like this game? Come on, Kirby's so innocent. 
Oh, I think that was too late. Also, what's up with the wispy woods having the glasses like that? Oh good, if you're close enough you don't get hit by the root spike. See ya. Just bash its nose with the umbrella. Oh hey there, uh, Phantom, good to see you. Okay, I don't think I've ever showed this when I first streamed this. If you beat the bosses and go back in there, you get a bonus game. I think having this power actually makes it easy to avoid getting hit by the apple. I guess I can try one of them. Oh, I almost got hit there. I did get hit there. Oh, it kicks you out immediately if you hit once. Ah, forget it. Close the door on you anyway. Hey, Ash. So I got what the app. Oh no! I'm gonna starve now. Thanks, Koo. Alright, Rick, I'm gonna let you take a breather. Okay, the music here for the forest is kinda catchy. Like, it's so wholesome and joyful. Even though everything in there is trying to end your life. Here, just go on the tree's dong. Get hurt. There, now we get Koo the Owl for the first time. He can fly. And though Kirby can also fly. But you get to do that! Don't worry about it. Anyway, hey there, Resurgimus. Good to see you. Uh, I know Cutter's there, but I don't need that. Well, that's a personal best for me. Okay, so I know the uh, power-up or the rainbow drop is here. I need Needle for that. Cutter does not help. I want Stabby, not Slicey. I think you find that later in the level. Oh, I was actually throwing the needle there. Speaking of needle, there it is. It's not a great offensive ability since it only attacks below you. So your sides are not as protected. But it exists. Yeah, yeah. All right, now we can go back and get that. Yeah! And that was number two. 
Oh, hey, Joker. Good to see you. No, I'm not gonna need Needle for this. I'm just gonna need Spitting. Actually, I think Parasol could've been good. Cause I can protect my whole body. Oh, but Cutter's also good. I think Cutter might actually be better. Uh, maybe not for this part. Oh my god, they even got a Caracasa here. You are powerless against me, Yokai Demon. Oh, nice. I got the one that gives me a life. I think that was a, a luck-based one. Or is it only ones where you would have gotten the same animal buddy? Because usually you get the ones that just give you health, like the black goonies. I, it's called a Caracasa, but I think it has another name, too? I forget the the other name for that umbrella yokai. Oh, it's these. Hmm. I think I'm gonna say No, I didn't mean to do that. I'm starting to think Koo may not Surprise, be great for this. Surprise, Or just go with spitting. Hey there, kitty. I think this slightly does more damage. Oh, good dodge. Not this time. Awful times of constant backtracking during side quests, don't remind me. There was like one in Mega Man ZX that was real bad. Just to get a sub tank. Oh, because I'm not getting a perfect now. You missed one! Get out! Ah, a ripple field. Is it? You come with me now. Chapter 6 with the train? Yeah, that, that one had the train. If we're talking about that, was in your door. Look at these worthless enemies now. Hmm. I haven't got to use stone. This is good when you get it on a slant. Alright, 
turn. Give me Cutter. Look at that. Now you can fire three of these. It's good for protect protecting your front. Hey there, Brag. Oh, you're not getting that bottle now. Let's put the spikes now. Oh, that's right. I cannot inhale when I'm underwater. I just keep spitting air bubbles. Oh, speaking of sucking, did you know... Are you guys watching that, uh... Or did you guys hear about that Dolphins game? That was earlier today? What's the score of that now? Or is that over? 70 to 20. Seventy to freaking twenty. How do you fail as a defense to let in like seventy points in a game? I didn't think it was possible. I don't think I need you anymore. Kind, you come with me. You're good for the water stages. Do I regret putting that voice command on? Not really. Though I did get tired of it after a while. So I found like if you can't laugh at yourself, how can you really laugh at anything? Yep. You can shoot light bulbs now. And you know what it also does? It helps you find secret passages in dark rooms. This will prove useful in at least one other level. Now I know I need kind to find the other rainbow drop in this world. But I gotta remember, I also need stone. I think you get stone in that level. Kine, you're too heavy. You, you did this to me. near the end of the section. So I have to make sure I keep the fish alive. Stone out of the fish's mind is called stonefish. Every time I hear stone out of my mind, I'm reminded of that uh, picture I saw, I think it was on Facebook, about some guy that was like, too high to be cooking anything. So he's gonna mix up some Kool-Aid while cooking up some boxed mac and cheese. But he put the packets in the wrong places. So his mac and cheese was blue. However, his Kool-Aid was yellow. Should I go down here to get the stone? Oh, 
I don't know if that was just for the bit, but if it was real life, that's hilarious. Wonderful! Okay, definitely not getting that now. Okay, yep, I have to go back and find stone first. Or at least I know where I need it. <laughs> I destroyed it! Good job. I remember one guy got high bought a mattress because he thought it was a giant ice cream sandwich. Uh, speaking of ice cream sandwiches, I saw another one where he scraped the ice cream off the ice cream sandwich and put it in between two Rice Krispie Treat bars. So it became an ice cream sandwich that was just Rice Krispie Treat and ice cream. Honestly, that sounds like a stroke of genius. Wasn't this the very first game stream coming back to Twitch in 2018? I'm aware you didn't do much in the Justin.TV days, but like, the first game I ever streamed... ...on Justin.TV, when that was a thing... ...was the SNES version of Prince of Persia. Played that for a couple hours. And then I said, fuck it, I'll use a password to get to the end. Oh yeah, the currents can move me even when I'm a stone. Well, the first game that I did was like, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. And I only got one ending, that was enough for me. Oh, hey there, Cole. We're playing, uh, Kirby's Dream Land 2. Trying to get all the rainbow drops, and we got three out of seven so far. The story mode for MK1, I've seen bits and pieces because my Facebook recommendations keep putting them on there. Alright, gotta take out this anglerfish. This is so much easier with Kine because you can actually nail enemies. Like, if you just Kirby, you can act. I think you can just spit the enemies back. Life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Hmm. Hey there, Shifting Flesh. Good to see you. Thanks for the GG, but save that for the final boss. <laughs> anyway, how are you? This is your first time here. I do stream a variety of games, mostly retro games. Uh, today we're playing Kirby's Dream Land 2. We'll probably have this game finished by today. And tomorrow will be the start of Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. Oh, that is just horseshit. Iceberg level. There, I'm gonna infect Rick with my flu. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, the bombs. I remember the, uh, teardrop bombs. 
They kill your animal buddies in one go. I don't need Rick. So I will need Kine to get the rainbow drop in this world. Oh, fuck you too then! I hate that enemy so much. Well, if I don't get this on the first go, it's in 4-4, by the way. There is a way to guarantee getting the animal buddy you want in World 5. I'm just gonna stop right where you're to, because I'm an asshole. Rolling, rolling, rolling. It's like those Ma Mario Maker levels where you can just do nothing and you win. Alright, now they actually start adding more levels to worlds. This one actually has four levels. Oh, that little extra bounce I got actually saved me. I'll have to settle for this one. Is this little Kirby dance in every Kirby game? I think it is. I think it's even in the pinball game, too. I've been debating this ever since you play a lot of arcade games where this versus ID sprung to mind, no idea this will happen. I'm probably not gonna do start a new Versus until maybe after Capcom is done. So, uh, you're gonna have to wait up maybe a couple years. But hey there, Shard. I don't know if I said hi to you earlier. Hope you are well. Parasol makes getting through this little section a breeze. Can I get... Is the fire boss there? Oh, it is! Well, there's a fire enemy. So I can actually get one of this. Hey! We got a one-up. Who is cuter, Kirby or Pikachu? Oh, that's a tough. Uh -uh. Who is dead? Oh, and I needed fire again. It's actually mandatory to get through this part of the level. Son of a bitch. I gotta do it again. Kirby with a Pikachu hat. But what about Pikachu with a Kirby hat? Just saying, Kirby 2023 is the most you've done of arcade games leading by both YouTube and Twitch? Yeah, well, so what? Doesn't mean I'm just gonna start a new Versus in the future. At least not right away. I mean, we're still on what? 88 or 89 for Capcom? 
think it's 88. I mean, it's on the list. We're after that. Oh, the delayed reaction on Mr. Frosty. Like, even when he's hit, you still finish the throw animation. That is commitment to the craft. Ooh, I, I need you. Hope I can keep you for the whole stage. Oh, I can actually move with the, uh, the ice field active. Oh, but if I hold it too long, that happens. I'm gonna grow up in the 90s and remember the old Chubby Chew. I think one of my friends in SVG actually has the, uh, Chubby Pikachu plushie. Well, he's got a whole bunch of Pikachu plushies. And we usually put them all around the, uh, the marathon and stuff. Like, just to decorate. Oh, wow, Ice is actually really good to deal with those bombs. They just freeze in an instant. Well, I got around to setting up Nightbot to know it took you so long. Eh, might have just been like no interest to do so at the time. But I hope it works out for ya. See, this is how we're gonna do it, huh? Let me get on this side. Okay, I need fire for this. I don't want to give up Kine. I'm also going to put a save state here so I don't have to replay the level. Oh, oh my god! to redo this section. Then the critical. Prepare to get reminded of how low health you are every few seconds. At least every time you went to a room. I'm just gonna let it shoot. I'm not gonna take any chances. This is a little dangerous. This is probably one of the hardest ones to get. So don't even bother to try to get the heart, or get that one up, that was close. Okay, this is where it gets tough. Okay, I did that part. You have to spit out the block, then you have to get the fire back immediately. If you don't do that, you don't get fire. Because there was no fire enemy in that entire room. Oh, 
Oh, that's a Gordo. Why would they put a Gordo there? That's kind of evil. Alright, so I don't need Kine anymore. That's better. Oh, get hit immediately. Good job, Curbs. Okay, I think the next boss is the Ice Dragon. Or I'm trouble. I use my tail to move aerodynamically. Up, oh, didn't jump in time. Oh, that time got away. This one's a little annoying to deal with without an ability. But with an ability, is also slow. So you can't really win. I think a couple more shots, I should do it. Alright, it's almost done. Oh yeah, you don't even have a slide in this. See ya. Let's try the bonus. Oh, some of them fall real fast. There's some weird gravity going on. Got impaled. I got a perfect. That's my first one. The Red Canyon. Hey, look, Red, there's a canyon named after you. Got nice music. Even though the background is mostly pink. Oh, it's you. This is not a fun boss to deal with. Because it doesn't always launch the stars. And you're waiting longer than you'd like to. Better name the level Red Dragon King, but there's no dragons. Anymore? Kirby just took out the last one. For this universe, in this game... 
And don't say old Landio. Landio didn't exist then. Oh yeah, the lasers. I've had a medium rare steak before. I used to like medium rare, and now I just settle for medium. That's good enough for me. A uh, rare steak. There was this place called the Keg, and I asked for like the uh, the baseball steak. And uh, what that is is it's a steak that's really really thick. That even if you wanted it medium rare or medium. That just means they would overcook the outside. Because it would take forever due to the thickness. You prefer your meat well done? Well, burgers... You can have burgers that are medium rare. But only if you grinded the meat yourself. Like, I remember watching some... Like, a channel on YouTube I used to watch a lot. Well, I technically still do. If you don't know where your meat's coming from, get your burgers well done. But if you're grinding them yourself, you can go a little medium rare. And not everyone's gonna like steak, because it's a hefty protein. mine yours well done uh see the reason why i don't like my steaks well done is because you be chewing them a lot all right these goons Anyway, let's just go to Area 2. Oh my god! <laughs> Get him with my bark! Is a ninja guy. Oh, you can't spit that one. Oh, can't spit the ninja stars either. Only if they hit the wall. Stop that. With Cutter is like, I'm gonna beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker. Just throws Kirby at everything. We're gonna try Unagi? That's a uh, urchin, right? I mean, I probably would. But I imagine it's not gonna be cheap. I think Unagi's urchin. Or maybe that's- no, Uni might be urchin. Oh, eel. I'd probably try eel. I mean, there are some sushi places that serve eel. Even here. Okay, this is a good spot if you're trying to manipulate what animal you get. Because you'll always get to 
choose out of which of the doors. Uh-oh. The boomerangs are not working! We gotta go. Why do I suddenly remember Some Call Me Johnny? Because a lot of people know about Some Call Me Johnny. I mean, Tony, when he's usually here, sometimes talks about Some Call Me Johnny. I'm sure he's a swell dude. Ooh, that was close. Oh, so much for getting those stars. Don't forget about that. I'm not big on sushi, though. Maybe I didn't get a good cut. Oh, there goes Ku. He's like, yeah, I killed it all. I'm a piece of shit with a propeller on my head. here. Okay. The rainbow drop is in 5-5, five five, and I need Rick for that. I mean, usually if I go to sushi places, I usually go for the Yakiniku beef or the, uh, Crab Rangoons. If you haven't had Crab Rangoons, provided you can actually have them safely, you haven't lived. Until you have had them. I keep doing that attack. Crab or lobster? I've eaten both. More so crab than lobster. Uh, there we go. Cream cheese or jelly on bagels? Probably cream cheese. Although I imagine it would be an interesting combination of flavors if you had both. Like, take the cream cheese and the jelly, provided it's soft enough, and mix it together. Well, it has to be like plain cream cheese. Otherwise, what's the point? And then stir it in with the jelly. In my humble opinion, I think some call me Johnny should come back to either Kirby or Dragon Quest games? Why? He's happy playing with whatever he wants. If he wants to come back to those, he can. But if he doesn't, well... He's moved on to something else he likes. Okay. Spark is what I require. And I also need Rick. can also suck. I cannot get hit while I'm in the water section. How do you feel about game? If game's been jerking out, why don't you get a decent ending? If game percentage is not full, I don't care. 
As long as the game is good. That's all that matters to me, and... Oh, wait, 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 no, there's Spark here. I can just undo that. You get one of this level, too. Never mind, I thought I lost it. Oh, a secret area here, by the way. Oh shit, I don't want to be here anymore. Dark Prince? I think that's a Dragon Quest spin-off that's coming out. Catching up to me. No! Undo that! I'm not replaying the whole level again. I actually took a mulligan for once. If it wasn't for the rainbow drops, I would have let that death slide. Okay, this one, you actually have to give up Rick. There were times I kept trying to make that jump with Rick. Don't do it. It's not gonna work. say that was technically my first death. So it's not a deathless run. Alright, here's the boss somebody doesn't like. Oh, that was a good shot. Make sure you get in there, or you're done. Kirby will then get skin cancer. That one's out. Just make sure you stand in the cone and you're safe. Did anyone request Kirby's Adventure yesterday? No. Well, Nightmare in Dreamland was requested. So technically it was, but it also wasn't. But Kirby's Adventure can still be requested. For tomorrow, I mean. Cloudy Park. Oh, the rainbow drop here is really tedious. That will be in stage two. Oh, I didn't check the bonus in Area 5. I'll have to come back to that later. Okay. You know what game I will not like? 
I mean, tomorrow you can request it anyway. See if I get through it. rescuing here. Get out of here. Kine? You know what? I kind of want Kine. Funny enough, he's needed in this in this, uh, Rainbow Drop world. So you can't pick Kirby's Adventure? You can! Remember, Lion King was picked twice. Once on the SNES and once on the Genesis. Which, by the way, the Genesis version was your pick. So like I said, Kirby's Adventure can still be picked. the way. How you usually do game testing? For get re retro viewer's choice, just maybe the first few minutes, and then if it runs at all, that's good enough. Okay, I'm gonna spit that out because I need ice. Ooh, good dodge. Yeah, yeah. You remember owning Lion King on the Game Gear? One of my, uh, friends that I graduated high school with had the Game Gear version of the Lion King. And I wound up beating that game at her house. Took me a while, though. Because the Wildebeest level kind of sucked. Okay, I don't think I need ice anymore. I don't think I need Kine anymore, either. Fuck up. Alright, one moment. Okay, enter the run, get the door, enter the run, currency one up, drop below the platform, beat the big spark, get the big power, and exit via previous area. Go back to the pool, and this time go right, defeat the big block, and get Rick, but I have to keep spark. Okay, I, I don't need Kine anymore, but I need to keep spark.
You wanna know which franchise get ruined by awful GBA game? Battletoads? Funny enough, there was actually a Battletoads game on the Game Gear, so it has been on handhelds. Wait a second. Hang on. Oh, I know where I fucked up. I gotta rewind it before I entered the door. Hope enough. Hope I didn't do it too late. Okay. Okay, that worked. This is a very weird one. You're supposed to go in here and go all the way to the right. I hit that! I hit that again! I have to back up a bit more. Okay, you don't need stone, but you need Rick. So that's the only way you can take out the Shotzos. And now you need Koo. You need a Rick just for that room, and that was it. I shit you not. I'm not gonna take out that enemy. Oh, don't lose it immediately. Thank you. This part's a little frustrating. Because he had to go around all the Gordos without losing Cutter. And then you can get this. There, that's the sixth rainbow drop. So all that's left is the one in the castle. Not every year has to remain consistent when Christmas special nominations while I'm at it. Well, I are, I could have told you that. I mean, you can pick whatever you want. Just not every game's gonna get picked. And I still haven't nailed down how many games will get picked by me. We'll just say it won't be as many as this year. Or at least last year's special. For games I did this year. It, it's confusing, I know.
What? My controller! It just died for like half a second. I was gonna go through here and it wouldn't let me. Well, at least it deactivated during a non-threatening part. That was weird. Now let's go without abilities. Oh, the mum balls! I can't really think of anybody that would say the Season of Ice was better than Season of Flame. Like, the Spyro GBA games were not that memorable to me, but I know Season of Ice did suck trying to play. Like, it really suffered from first game syndrome. To do something on the Game Boy Advance like that. Go, go! No, another ball! I juked ya! Alright, 6-4. Oh, no random eel popping out. me. Oh, hey, Anubis. Good to see you. He's like, oh, no, I'm not good. Ah, oh, damn. Didn't want to do that. You know what? Get out of here, Koo. That was regret kicking in. I could have just let Koo take that hit. Not, I'll, I'll own up to it. That one's all me. Oh, it's me, you again. I let you go and then I take you anyway. So it was worthless. This is where rain comes from. It just goes through the cloud veins. Sometimes there are frogs. Viral crash games were handled for the crossovers. They were they were by geared towards kids. So I'd imagine like uh, gamers of all ages weren't going to enjoy them. So, it's not gonna be for everyone. Oh, 
Oh yeah, get all the one-ups. All for Kirby. Had to make that a bit wider just so Koo can get out of there. You know what? Fine, just take the hit. This is not friendly towards animals, this level ain't. how Koo gets all plump when Kirby turns to stone. Look at it. <laughs> the absolute chunk of that bird. You can tell the devs had a lot of fun putting the animations together. That's where it gets its charm. Like, how would an owl react to what it's carrying turning to stone and becoming super heavy? That is what you get. Two hundred eleven games requested already. Yeah, we. But that's because we had more people, more different people requesting games. Instead of what it was before, when it was like, mostly the same people, dominating the whole thing. Like sometimes we had like, 40 games. Oh, let's try number 5. I guess wrong. It was number two? Yep, it was number two. PSP remake of Medieval forces you to play a mini game? Uh, that's dumb. At least make the mini game fun if you're gonna do that. Otherwise, it's just padding for the sake of padding. And I hate when they do things like that that add no value. Um... You know what, I don't need the one up that badly. That's actually the second one of those we found in this playthrough. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Ow. Oh yeah, now I remember this section. This one sucked ass. If you didn't memorize where the right way was. Shoot 
going up. Oh no, no, the Paris. Oh my, that. There's nowhere to land. So it doesn't mean a thing. I did it! That's the maximum height! It took me several stages, but I finally got the first one up on that section. Alright, now for Cracko. Oh, I don't have a power to use against him. You're not done. Can't fool me that easily. I'm not used to this flight pattern. Got this under control. I should not have done that. Got him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't do the bonus here, so we'll go back for that. What the hell is this? Why are you here? Okay, this bonus section looks like it's full of hate. Alright, do you get a star or do you get skin cancer? Your choice, Kirby. React wisely. Oh, oh no! I I'm not gonna get the perfect. I missed one. Unbelievable. That's the second bonus where I missed a single star. Let's try this one. Hmm. This one might not be as terrible. Whoa! Ooh, that was lucky. I thought I was hit from underneath. Oh, that was a mean one game. That could have hit me too. Perfect! Eh, two out of six ain't bad. Now for the Dark Castle.
Just fry your own brain. It happens a lot. To a lot of us. Okay, this one has pretty intense music for a Kirby game. At least for its time. Just setting you up for a massive fight at the end. Where are some of the levels in this could be pretty annoying? Especially when you get to auto scrolling. Oh, hey, Tony, good to see you. We're playing some Kirby's Dream Land 2. We're on the last world already. Oh, I thought I mastered it. You know, after one success. Uh huh. That's kind of morbid. It's like, hey, we get to join you, Kirby. Oh no, we don't have gills. We're dead. The minions were just dropped in there to die. really want me to have needle for this. So I think I can outrun this. Oh yeah, you can all run this, no problem. Keep the flame breath. So yeah, most of the animals, a lot of the bosses in the first three games are exactly. Ooh, I'd rather have... I'd rather have... Theme. Hey there, Patrick. Ever heard of the Tasmanian Tiger? I played a few games of a Tasmanian Tiger, or Tied the Tasmanian Tiger. Those games are very mid. And sadly, they go out of their way to remind you of how mid they are. There's still a fourth one I need to play. Oh, come on. Oh, well, I guess this can work. Whee! Ah, damn you. Well, there are three main Dreamlands. Technically, there are more games that have Dreamland in them. Like Kirby's Return to Dreamland for the Wii, and since been remade or remastered for the Switch. But let's just say there was not a Kirby's Dreamland 4 by name. Oh, I need that. If you see a star, chances are it's not a good place to go. Wow! Got massacred by the back needles.
If I remember the correctly, the third dream I didn't- It did, actually. Late! In the SNES's life cycle, but it did come. Oh wait, no, no, no. I kinda wanna give Ice a chance. In fact, I played a uh, Kirby Streamline 3 for the channel for Season 1. Oh! You piece of crap. The ice is actually really good! I'm starting to think maybe that's the best ability in the game. In terms of, like, dealing with enemies. Ice. Our uh, break, you might be a liability for this! I'm sorry. It's all about self-preservation. There were at least... There was at least one SNES game for Kirby that did not come to the West. And that was like Superstar Stacker. Well, it didn't come to the West till now. Alright, stage five. Oh, at least they didn't drown this time. They were given ledges now. They complained to their management enough. It's like, maybe if you put some ledges, we won't drown. Now let's, let's go with ice. How it feels to chew five gum. <laughs> Oh, I remember this. You would probably be screwed out of getting the one ops no matter what door you, you took, so you had to do this. Reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> ah, the explosion was still there. That's better. Right, stage six. We're close to the end, everyone. Very windy outside. Haha! <laughs> Into the spikes with you. Oh, I hated this. You picked the wrong path. You're dead. If I see stars, don't go for them. Enemies are usually- oh, well, not that one. I got lucky. Oh shit! Oh shit! 
mulligan that right now. Apparently it was the bottom path. So I'm not redoing this whole section again. Cause that was evil. I mean, personally, I'm going to ignore all discussion about the Switch 2 until Nintendo reveals it. Because most of the time that people talk about the Switch 2, it's just a very shitty bootleg console that's clickbait. Because they want to be the one to get the most views for it. down here. Okay, this, this shitty level I gotta deal with next. Okay, so for this one... I don't have to worry about that now, but once we get to the first room, or well, second room, you see, normally, if you had Kine and Spark, you can see the combination that you need to reach the Rainbow Drop. So, I'm gonna have to look this one up for my own sanity. One moment. Okay, I see what I gotta do. I'm gonna copy that on Notepad and put it right in front. So I think you need fire first. So let me get that... Now, you know what? Rick, you can get out of here. Because you gotta do this in the correct order. After fire, you gotta get stone. And then you get spike. And then you get ice. No, you don't get Waddle D. That one doesn't serve you at all. And then lastly, you gotta get Cutter. And there! That's all seven Rainbow Drops. You can go beat the game now. Oh, that was just evil. Ah, oh, keeps landing on me. Get out of here! Okay. Now it's time for the boss. Ah! Life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Or maybe not.
So I see King DDD is hanging around the uh, asexual background. Good for him. He's too busy ruling Dreamland. You got no time to be tempted with doing the do. his limiters. <laughs> Give me more of your power. A loud yawner. It doesn't surprise me. Ah, he's too close. Got him. This doesn't damage you, by the way. I'll get you! <laughs> there, the rainbow sword. Now I can behead DDD. I become the true king. <laughs> Alright, now we get to the true final boss. You're gonna fight that back at him, by the way. You can get some shots on him, but, uh, don't get too close, because you can only take six hits still. At least this pattern's pretty easy at first. Get a few cheap shots on him during that. Ah, shit. That was a bad spot. Throw in the other orb. Throw in another orb to me. Or do that. This one's a time limit, too. You can get behind him during that. Probably not worth it, though. Thank you. 
Yeah, because of that. Thank God for save states, so we can just do this. Thank God for save states, so we can just do this phase again. You were close. You guys realize I ha I did own this game as a kid, so I knew about the time limit. So it wouldn't surprise me. Ah, oh, I did that too late. Okay, this works. <laughs> Fuck you! I win. You might just burn up in the atmosphere, and then you can't, can't bother me anymore. It's like, yeah, I got the sword! Now I can still slice DDD in half. Taking my food before. Thanks for the GGs. Thank, thank you, TK. I appreciate it. Rainbow, but it's only three colors. Look, things are tight in Dreamland, okay? That was only 96%. So I think the other 4% is tied to the bonuses. Let me see. Oh, wow. I didn't get to rest at all. Well, at least you get to keep the amount of lives. They didn't reset them. I'm probably not gonna try for 100%, but let me see if I can nail these. Nope! What's the point of kicking me out? Just let me do them until I beat them. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, last time I did this was with Koo, and that was like, a handicap. There's the perfect.
that I deserve. Right, let's try number three. Oh, I don't have kind for this. So it's gonna be harder. Ah, oh, it may not be. My hitbox is smaller. Maybe it'll be a bit easier. I did it! Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's only one in five I did not beat. Then they have the boss roll call, uh, not in this. You're gonna hear the beeping every single time. Isn't that great? Every time you enter a bonus, you gotta hear that. Did it, did it, did it. Oh, I almost didn't get it. If only Kirby could dash in this. Fuck you! You can't get the star because he shoots there! So you're screwed! Oh, the door doesn't reopen either. What happens if I enter a level and we- Translate into the goddamn need? word for it! This is bullshit! Alright, I'm just gonna reset. At least it auto stays. Yeah, 98%. They give you the same bit of health. Alright, I'm doing this again. I mean, I normally wouldn't do this because I already beat the game. But we got a little bit of time, so let's do some padding. I'm gonna beat this one this time. Air Star! Okay, one more, and I'm done. I, I kind of like both. Alright, this shitty one again. I better not get the bad RNG again. That almost hit me. I don't remember if I ever did all the bonuses on it on my original playthrough on YouTube. You son of a bitch. Reset. Ninety-nine percent. This this one game is keeping me from winning it. I don't think they play tested this one. In my humble opinion, if they did, they would have 
made the star drops a lot more balanced. Because sometimes it'll just shoot right where the stars are. And by the time the rays are gone, it's too late. I did it! Oh. Okay, I'm gonna reset again so you can take a look. There! I finally got 100% on that save file. So that means that's pretty much it for Kirby's Dreamland 2.